Hey guys, I had a request from a subscriber to do a video on Valentine's Day gift ideas for boyfriends or significant others. And so I sat down to create a list and it was actually quite hard to come up with a list of, I tried for 10 things um, to give for Valentine's Day. So I kind of racked my brain for things I had previously given my boyfriend or other boyfriends or other things I thought in general that a boy would like for Valentine's Day. And what is it about gifts for boys that is so hard? It's like... You think of a gift like a birthday present or Christmas present and it's like every idea goes out of your head. So anyways, hopefully I've come up with some ideas that will work for you. Remember that gift giving is about the person you love and the person that you're getting the gift for, not necessarily about spending a lot of money. So do what you can afford and just try to make it as thoughtful as possible. So the first thing on my list of things is cologne. And my boyfriend actually hated cologne when we first started dating. And I just decided one year I was going to buy him one for Christmas as part of his gift. And he ended up actually loving it, used the entire bottle, and now he actually has three colognes. So I'm just going to give you the three colognes that my boyfriend has. I think they're very accessible, um, and they're actually scents that I think a lot of boys would really enjoy. So the first is by Giorgio Armani, and it's Aqua Di Gio or aqua digio. I'm not exactly sure how it's pronounced, but it comes in a container like this. Usually colognes come in two different sizes, a smaller version and a larger version. So if you didn't want to spend as much money on the larger bottle, definitely buy the smaller bottle, the one that you can afford. The second one that I really like that he has is um, by Diesel, and it's called, um, I believe it's called Fuel for Life, and it comes in a container like this. Actually, the Cologne has like a, a zip up little bag that goes around it, but my boyfriend doesn't like that, so he actually took it off. But um, I also really like this cologne. And then the last one that he most recently purchased was, um, it's by Lacoste, and it's called Essential, and it comes in a bottle like this. Um, some of these we bought at department stores, some of them we bought at Sephora. Actually, my boyfriend and I were in Sephora one day, and he saw the Lacoste one, and he tried it on, and he really liked it. So those are the three colognes that my boyfriend really likes. So my second gift idea is video games, and my boyfriend right now is really into his Wii, but he has quite a few other systems, so whatever system your boyfriend is into, you should try to find a game that goes along with that one. Um, great places to get video games are at like Target and Best Buy. Also, there's stores like GameStop, so sometimes they'll have games that you can't find other places. But a new game that just came out for Wii is called New Super Mario Brothers, and this is actually, I believe, rated as one of the top five Wii games to ever have come out. Um, my boyfriend's had this for less than two weeks, and he's played almost more than half of the video game, and he absolutely loves it. This is more kind of your old school video game where um, it's not 3D, you're not moving in 3D, but you're kind of moving from left to right or right to left in the screen. So this is like old school Mario Brothers. So you can definitely play this along with your boyfriend and maybe even kick his own butt at his own kind of game. Um, so this is a great idea, especially this video game. I believe this game also comes for a couple of different systems. You should definitely check this out. We ended up getting this at GameStop because it is a new game and we couldn't find it at Best Buy or Target. But that's my second gift idea. Um, my third gift idea is a custom photo album. So a couple of years ago for one of my boyfriends, it was actually for Christmas, but um, I gave him a custom photo album that I made online. And there's a couple different websites that you can do this at. One is called Snapfish and the other one is called Shutterfly. They are photo gallery sort of websites that you can upload pictures to and then create photo albums and then they create the product for you and ship it to you. Um, I'll put the links for these websites in the sidebar so you can look them up if you're interested in, in it after this video. So what I actually had done to create the album was I contacted my boyfriend's mother and I had her some, sort of compile a bunch of different pictures from basically when he was born until when we started dating. So I had from birth till we started dating, all kinds of sports things, school things, and I picked and chose which pictures I liked and then I kind of arranged them in the photo album. I had captions, I put funny things in there. I don't actually have the photo album with me to show you because I believe he left that at his parents house with some of his keepsake items when he moved to his condo so unfortunately I don't have it with me to show you. So that's my third idea. My fourth idea is a really simple idea. It's just taking a really nice picture of you and your boyfriend together and framing it. Um, I know that sounds kind of corny but if he doesn't have a picture of you, you know, at home or whatever, that's a really easy gift and a really affordable gift. 
So my fifth gift idea is a tailor-made gift. And this is a category that I think is kind of a free-for-all. It's basically what kinds of things your boyfriend or husband is interested in. So some random ideas would be um, golf, sports, um, electronics, computers, video games. The sky is the limit with this. So for instance, my boyfriend's really interested in beer. He loves tasting beer. He loves drinking beer. He loves going to the liquor store and finding cool new beers. He likes reading about beer. He wants to make his own beer someday. So I have two specific ideas related to this category. The first is I found this really cool book on brewing. And so it's called The Complete Joy of Home Brewing. It's basically a complete guide on how you make beer, everything you need to make beer, everything you would basically need to know about beer in general. So that's my first idea for that. The second idea would be to find a local brewery around us and see if they offer tours or if they have a restaurant associated with the, with the actual brewery. And there's one that I know in the area, at least around us, that offers tours and has a restaurant attached to it. So that'd be a really cool date. You'd really get some great brownie points by taking your boyfriend to um, a brewery, allowing him to taste some really cool microbrew beers and getting to see the brewery and also getting to taste the food. Um, the brewery that I know that's in our local area that has a restaurant attached to it, they actually make a lot of the food with the beers that they make, so that's also really cool to incorporate beer into your food. My sixth idea is sort of um, date night. So my boyfriend's always complaining about he, how he always pays for everything, so um, my idea would be to get some kind of gift certificate to go to a dinner and a movie or something like that so that he doesn't have to pay for it. My seventh idea is something cultural. So I've always really wanted to take my boyfriend to go see something like the Blue Man Group or some kind of um, theater kind of thing or maybe go to a museum. I think cultural things are really important um, and also they're really fun and you get to learn along the way. My eighth idea, and this is something I know my boyfriend needs, is a wallet. So he carries around this really old beat up leather wallet and I know a lot of boys that even carry around like Velcro wallets in their like 20s. So a wallet's a really good idea. You don't have to spend a lot of money. One place I think would be really easy to get a nice wallet is Fossil. So it's just a nice easy to use leather wallet. My ninth idea would be to get some kind of ticket to a sporting event. So my boyfriend's really, really into uh, football and um, basketball. He also likes golf, but golf is actually pretty boring to watch in person and on TV. So my recommendation is to think ahead, maybe get him some season tickets to something, or maybe even not take him to a pro game, but they do have like minor leagues for baseball and things like that, as well as hockey. I know they have minor league hockey. So sporting event tickets, those are a really great idea. You could get tickets for him to go with his friends if you didn't want to go with him, especially if you really don't like watching sports. And my 10th gift idea is kind of lame, but if you really have the boyfriend or husband that's absolutely impossible to buy gifts for, um, my best recommendation is to buy a gift card for them from a store that you know that they like to shop at, like, for instance, Dick's or Sports Authority or somewhere where they can get sports items, but you don't necessarily know exactly what they want. So that's a great idea. Another idea would be to um, make them a card. Making cards is really cute. It's really easy and it's also really affordable. Writing them a poem would be a really good idea. I think once my boyfriend wrote me a poem for, I believe it was my birthday, but writing a poem for Valentine's Day would be really cute. And so basically those are my ideas. Those are the top 10 or 12 things that I could come up with off the top of my head. So I hope that you guys will be able to come up with some ideas or use these specific ideas for your boyfriend or significant other. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys soon.